guys, it's snowing. The absolute joy that snow brings never grows old. Oh, I'm so excited. This absolutely kills my outfit plans for today. No two ways about it, but oh, I'm so excited. There is nothing like snow. It just makes me so happy. Such a child. Oh! Now it really feels like a vlogmas day. Today is Sunday. It wouldn't be when I upload this, obviously. I was meant to vlog yesterday. I had plans of vlogging yesterday. I had a bit of a disaster and it's continued into today because things come in threes, obviously. So yesterday, I first of all, I started out, I had loads of time to get ready. Always a dangerous place to be in. You get blasé about things. I decided, because you know how I'm trying to use 50 things to hit my quantity goal of using 300 items up this year? Well, yesterday morning I used this. Oh, it helps if I put it the right way. Natura BC. And it is this Diamond Instant Glow Peel Radiance Lift thing. It's a one-use product, so it was going to get me an empty and whatever. So I used it, but it's a three-step thing because it's three different capsules. And this is what they look like. So they come, this is attached. You have to break this off to release the product. And they're glass. I used the first one, had the peel on my face, had put this down in the bed, and then I must have like lent on the bed or whatever, and it rolled onto the floor. And I didn't see it or hear it because it's so small. But I did hear it when I stood on it and crunched it to bits under my heel. And then I had to like stop and clean that up in case my cat came in and like walked on it and obviously could have like cut her paws wide open and whatever. So that was my first breakage of the day. Then the zip on the dress that I wanted to wear was also broken, which didn't realise until I was like nine minutes past 12 at this point. My train was at half 12. I am like a 15 minute walk from the station so I needed to be out the door at quarter past 12 and then my dress wasn't going to work out. I actually need to take it now to get a new zip put on it which I don't, I'm, I did not notice last time I wore it that anything was amiss so I don't know what has happened but yesterday the zip was very much broken. So because of this dress disaster with the zip I then missed the train at half 12 and our reservation was at 1. I couldn't get another train until 1. I was like half an hour late arriving yesterday. So I just, it was a very, very stressful day. And I feel like when I'm vlogging, if I don't get off to like a calm start to set it up, to keep going throughout the day, it's just like, it just keeps going. So that's what happened. I never really got great footage yesterday, but I did get some. So I'm going to insert that for you. Gordon's got an important decision to make, so which one would you choose? Gordon's looking at bags, that's all. <laughs> looking. We are a bit tipsy, so, you know, no promise it's made here. So, I think this one is different, but this one is more in line with... It's what you own more of are these kind of colours, but also there's a reason that you own more of them. So which one would you guys pick? Very nice. It is lovely. So you do get a cross body strap with them. It's quite a thick one. It's just a plain one though. I feel like I would have quite liked it if it had been a yeah, complementary colour to yeah, the... Been like, I suppose you could just produce them for both bags. It's really cute, isn't yeah. it? Two inside pockets. One. And then there's a zip one. I like that it's actually like catches closed as well so it's not just like you know a button that could kind of pop it's, it feels a bit more secure that way. Yeah. It's a wee bit probably quite awkward to try and close but Yeah to get in and out of yeah. but It's one of the things that would you actually shove that? Possibly not but it would mean if you were on holiday or something you've yeah. you know you've got that wee bit more security. So we have a ride for Elf. So if you can see over there, that's where we were last week for our afternoon tea. I feel like this is quite a sort of iconic Glasgow view. That is the Finiston Crane. Then you've got that thing there as a bridge. And then this is our sort of arena. Not quite. Would you call this an arena? Yeah. Yeah. That's our take on the Sydney Opera House. But much, much smaller. Oh, 
IPD are here with snowballs? Your cue to throw the snowballs is when the policeman is in the audience and he's going to say, do not throw snowballs. What's he going to say? Do not throw snowballs. What now, one of the things I do just want to draw attention to about yesterday, I looked at these two bags in Kate Spade, which have gone into the sale just to make it extra tempting. So I'm on a no buy this year and I've had exceptions that I've been allowed to shop when I'm on holiday. And I know for some people that will mean it doesn't count as doing a full no buy if you're allowed to buy things on holiday. But for me, it works. It compartmentalises shopping into something that I do when I'm on holiday rather than something that I'm actively doing at home. So it suits me and it's doable for me. Next year I'm going to make it more strict but that's the way I've done it this year. It's been fine, it, it really works for me to be like shopping is something I do on holiday, it's not something I do at home and it's a very clear boundary that I've drawn. I've never really been shaken by anything until these bags. I don't know if you guys will remember like a hundred years ago Kate Spade did a book tote that was the age of innocence, eh, not a book tote sorry a book clutch and oh, I loved that bag so much. It was before Kate Spade like, had a UK presence, they didn't even ship to the UK at this point. It was basically impossible to get Kate Spade unless you were going to the US. I never got that bag and I still think about it pretty regularly. So these two bags in Kate Spade, one is The Secret Garden and one is Black Beauty. They're so lovely, they're like crossbody. I put my phone in them yesterday as well and they take like, they're not big bags but they take my phone and my purse with a little bit of space left to put like a bit of makeup in or whatever like they're not big bags but they are not stupidly small bags like and I tried them on and oh I really really was tempted for the first time tempted to break my no buy at home and I don't know if it's just because I have been shopping obviously because I've been doing Christmas shopping so I've been shopping for other people and then although I've not been actively shopping for myself Obviously when you get to this age people just ask you what you want for Christmas. So I have been like shopping for myself even though it's not been me spending the money. I have been looking for things that I want to bring into my life and I don't know if it's just because I've been doing that that it's like I've been using those muscles that I haven't used all year at home in that setting. Oh I was so tempted yesterday guys. I was very very nearly breaking my no buy. I didn't and I went to the shop and then went back out and then went back in to look at them again. And I came back out again like it was this close I'm not gonna pretend it wasn't it was like this close but I didn't break my nail by. But what did break today because I had two breakages yesterday the little thing that the peel was in and then the dress and this morning guys I'm so heartbroken about this one this is such a disaster as far as I'm concerned my little mouse lamp broke so I've got quite a clean break on his back leg so I've been able to pick that straight up and I feel like I could possibly glue that like straight back on. But his ear is also broken and it's broken and I've got like the main two bits of it but the top bit has like broken into loads of pieces. So that's my third breakage so I hope we're done with the breakages but yeah I am really really upset about this one. But I'm telling you about that because the reason that he broke, he broke when I was moving furniture so that I could take a picture for the blog post. So I want you all to go read the blog post. I want I want the, the death of his ear to be worth something. So yeah, I've put up a blog post of recent favourites. I'm gonna link it down below. Please go have a read at it because I lost the intactness of my, my lying down mouse lamp to that blog post or to the photographs in that blog post. So please don't let it be for nothing. Please go check out my blog post. I'm getting back into writing blog posts again. So my blog is www.rosekeatstockwell.uk which I do own. I bought it and I've set it up so that it redirects to my blogspot blogger but then when it actually loads up the site it reverts back to being rosekeats.blogspot.co.uk. If anyone knows how to make sure it stays as rosekeats.co.uk can you let me know? I've followed the online guides but it, it, it obviously hasn't worked. So would appreciate any tech help there if anybody knows. But anyway, so because yesterday just ended up being quite a stressful day and didn't really turn into the vlog that I had envisioned, I thought like oh, I'll need to try and vlog a little bit today. But the reality is I work Monday to Friday and then I was out all day yesterday so I had stuff to do today that I, I couldn't put off to go do something Christmassy with you. I'm really sorry, that's the reality of it if you're not a full-time YouTuber. There's real life and that has to take 
precedence, unfortunately. But I thought today, after, you know, telling you all about, like, the sob stories of all my breakages, and, oh, I really am sad. I'm going to try gluing them back together, but... Um, I'm a little bit heartbroken, I'm not gonna lie. Feeling a bit tender, but I thought I could cheer myself up with chocolate because I am a few days behind on my lint calendar opening. So today is, what, what even is, what even is today? Which I go check what today is. I think it's the 11th, but I'm gonna check that. Yes, it is, it's the 11th. So I have got, I think I, I opened the 6th, so I've got 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th to open on this one, so that's, pleasing little bit of cheering up there but the main one I think you guys will be interested in is my beauty advent calendar now this kind of goes back to what I was saying about my no buy so I didn't pay for this and I but I did ask for it I chose to bring it in it is a Christmas gift so I didn't part with my cash for it but I picked it and I haven't opened any of it yet do you know the reason I haven't opened any of it is because I like the idea of this more than I like the reality of adding 24 products to my stash right now and I thought do you know what like I'm not massively proud of the fact that I didn't make that connection before asking for it but I've realized it now so I figured I have to be honest and feed that back to you guys I do have a bit of remorse about bringing this in because it was a lot of money not that it was my money but it was a lot of money that came out of like the budget that my parents are willing to spend on me at Christmas and I could have got something else you know and like having like seen those bags yesterday like the calendar was less money than one of those bags even though the bags are on sale but it could have been a good chunk towards something like that that I would have probably benefited more in the long run from than 24 days of beauty stuff when we all know I have got massive beauty inventories. The irony is I think I probably knew that subconsciously but didn't want to acknowledge it consciously because I didn't get this full price. Like I'd shown it to my gran because I'd been looking at all the beauty advent calendars. This is definitely the best of the ones that are out this year. If I was getting one, that would be it. And she said at that point, if you want that for Christmas, like I will buy you it and then you can have it for advent, but it's part of your Christmas. It's a lot of money let me think about it. It wasn't like an instant, yes, I want this. And that's not a bad thing. Like, I don't think not knowing instantly is a sign that something is a bad decision or anything. Like, I think it's ultimately good to take the time to reflect and really th think something through. And I came to the conclusion I didn't want it full price, but then they had 20% off, and I was tempted again, and then they had 20% off plus a gift with purchase and that's when I was like do you know what actually can I have that advent calendar but also there's money off of it so can I spend the value of the original advent calendar with these extra things and then I'll also get a gift with purchase. I don't want to say it's as clear cut as like if you're not willing to pay full price for it you don't really want it and you shouldn't buy it because there's a bit of an elitist sort of thought process there that I don't really like because sometimes it's just not in somebody's budget to buy something full price. If you then get it with money off and it brings it into your budget it can still be a good purchase for you. It just wasn't a good purchase for you at a certain price point because it wasn't in your price bracket. Like, I think that's one of the things I've maybe struggled with in terms of trying to change my habits in the last few years is I feel like a lot of the advice is like, if you didn't want it full price, like you don't really want it on sale. And I get the, I do get the theory behind it if it was in your price range full price and you didn't commit to it, like, do you really, really want it? But if it was at the very upper end of your price range or out of your price range at full price and then it goes on sale and that makes it more attainable for you, I don't necessarily think that that makes it a bad purchase. I think actually, you know, that can make it a better purchase because you've managed to make the purchase of the same item without damaging yourself financially to the same extent as you would have if you had either paid beyond what you could reasonably afford to for something just because you'd convinced yourself you really wanted it or because you would spend like every spare penny you had on blowing your whole budget on one thing. Like I would rather go towards having, making one purchase that I really like than spending the same amount of money on 10 things. But sometimes it's like really is that thing worth your whole budget? And if, it, if you come to the conclusion that it's not, but it would be worth half your budget, it doesn't necessarily make it a wrong purchase. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think there needs to be a bit of nuance within some of the advice that's given out about doing no buys or low buys or, you know, trying to shop less and whatever. So I don't kind of want to just 
actively feed into that but also I didn't want this full price and even 20% off wasn't quite cutting it it was when it was 20% off plus a gift with purchase and then I got that and then I essentially then spent the same amount of money as I would have would have spent to get this full price but I got this plus some other things to take it up to the full price, the Olaplex set and I think I got a deodorant and a face mask as well. Update on that deodorant by the way in case anyone watched that haul, the necessary one, absolutely useless. If you're a sweaty person do not buy it, it's £18 which is ludicrous for a deodorant really and yeah, it, it no, it doesn't work is my update on that if anyone was waiting for that. Spent that amount of money, not even my own money, but I spent that amount of money on somebody's behalf for myself for Christmas and I did get a lot more for it but I don't know if that necessarily means it was a good purchase because actually like that Olaplex set that I got like I'm really excited to get that and I know I will finish that all next year like that will be in my inventory in January and it will be out by the end of the year and I know that but I don't know if that's going to be the same for everything in here. I think I've been putting off opening it because I've been putting off having to admit that there's 24 more things that I haven't even specifically chosen to bring in. Does that make sense? Anyway, I feel like this is getting really a bit negative and whatever, and I don't want it to be negative. I just want it to be like, mm, on reflection, this is kind of the conclusion I'm coming to here. And hopefully that might help you to think, you know, you might feel a certain way at the time of shopping, but are you going to feel the way that I do now a month or so down the line? Like, and if you can envision feeling that way at the point of shopping, does it stop you doing the shopping? That's really, I suppose, what I'm trying to say. All that waffling aside, let's get into opening this because we do have 11 days to open. So let's see what they are. I'm just going to say before we get into that, partly because I have decided that actually this maybe wasn't the greatest for me. But anything that I don't absolutely love or really want to bring in, I'm going to donate. So just in case you're, if I sound like, a bit blasé about any of it and I'm like oh I'm just not going to keep that it's not because I'm saying oh I'm not going to keep that like and I'll sit around to declutter it or anything it's like okay well right now Social Bite are doing their tree of kindness and I'm going to make up some gifts for that anyway so I feel like if there's skincare or makeup that is fairly neutral that could go to most women I'll make up a parcel for like a woman in her 20s or 30s depending on what the products are and donate that so that makes me a bit more willing to pass up on things if I open them in this and think do you know what I actually don't love it so if I sound a bit blasé about it it's not it's not because I'm not regretting it or I think it's really easy to be like I'm just going to pass this straight away like I do have regret about bringing this into my life now but ultimately I know it's probably better to donate them than to keep them just out of guilt so let's get into unboxing them and seeing what they are. Got my little Christmas dinosaur decorations here with their their little Christmas lights. I know these will not be to everyone's taste, but I love Christmas, love dinosaurs, so some of my faves. Um, but yeah, let me move them out of the way and let's open this. So we have got the number one. Oh, for God's sake, this is this is difficult. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm going to need to put you guys down. One, ooh, two's a big one. Right, this is proving these are like absolutely stuffed in here. Ha! Right, bit of movement here. Come on. I just pinch that out. Come on. Two. Right, this is three here. Nine, ten, eleven. Right, let's. I'll pop these in the floor and then we can open them all together. Okay, so box number one. It says, on the first day of Christmas, Space NK sent to me a beauty icon to brighten skin instantly. And in this one, we have the Polish Choice. 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. Now I'm going to keep that actually because I have got quite oily skin and I feel like I've got the Ren AHA a sort of similar product at the moment um, and A it makes my skin really really red when I use it but also like we know that BHA is what you need to actually get into the sebum that clogs your pores, gives you blackheads if you're oily like me. So this is actually pretty welcome. 
into my inventory so I'm going to keep that one. Regardless of whether I donate any of this or not by the way I will be doing the social bite tree of kindness and I also volunteer with my own local food bank anyway so I do donate stuff there and I also help with that and source it and stuff so um just in case I've just said that I'm going to donate this and then if I end up opening all of this and like actually no I'm going to keep it all um it's I will be donating other stuff anyway this would have just been extras on top of what I was already planning to donate by the way um just in case it then looks like I've said that and then end up not doing it it's yeah you know what I'm saying but anyway box number two says hands up if you love award-winning planet pleasing formulas I'm gonna be honest even things are planet pleasing and natural I have my doubts oh necessary who made the deodorant that is useless the hand cream do you know what fragrance free hand cream how bad can it be i'll keep that because i'll probably pan that next year anyway so we'll keep that one even if the brand in general is not in my good books at the moment oh that's cute number three says meet me under the mistletoe darling now i feel like that darling in that copy suggests this is charlotte tilbury i was right pillow talk matte revolution lipstick I am going to donate that because I actually already have this so that can be a donation. Don't forget as well like year round uh, beauty banks which is Sally Hughes's charity does collect beauty products so your local food bank will always be taking toiletries and um, so like toothpaste, face wash, kind of basic stuff maybe like moisturiser and whatever but not really like makeup and I think in the US there's more relaxed rules I think you can donate like lightly used makeup Whereas in the UK, I don't know of any charities that take anything that, has, like, I think when something's been open, it's, you can't donate it anymore. So if I'm wrong and anyone knows of any UK based charities or, you know, anywhere else in the world, in case anyone else is watching from elsewhere, um, that you can donate lightly used products to, leave them down below. Whenever I've looked into it, I've not found anywhere that you can donate open things to other than wildlife sanctuaries quite often take old mascaras to brush the animals with so eh, there's another one but anyway back to box number four let it glow let it glow let it glow oh oh this is big okay so this is from summer fridays and it's a cc me serum it's 30 mils it's quite a like substantial box so i've not had anything from this brand before but lauren's had quite a few things from this brand and i know she's really enjoyed quite a lot of them i will use that one box number five and this said oh oh tidings of skin comfort and joy comfort and joy oh tidings of comfort and joy god rest ye merry gentlemen let nothing you dismay Jesus Christ our Saviour. Oh, La Mer. So this is the moisturising cream uh, from Creme de La Mer, which I am definitely going to keep and try out. Box number six, it's a Christmas skin miracle, it says on the side of this one. Oh, there's two products in there. Is that meant to be in there? So the two of these were in that box. So I've got the Caudalie Venergic C Plus Instant Detox Mask. I'm not sure on this one, so it's a detox mask. It says it tightens spores, removes excess oil, and it's got purifying clay, coffee, and grape. Now, I've got quite a lot of, like, clay masks, so I feel like I don't really need another one. I think the clay mask must be some of the cheapest to produce, because I feel like that's another one that I don't feel like I've bought many of, but I seem to have been given loads of, like, samples or gift with purchases of clay-based masks. So I feel like I've got quite a lot in that kind of category. In fact, this one's got coffee in it. I really don't like coffee. I don't like the smell of coffee really just not into it so yeah I think I might donate this one on and then also I got a little sample size of the Drunk Elephant Wonderworld Miracle Butter Rescue Remedy well I might use that and you know yesterday just to continue with my disasters I don't know if you can really see it because I've moved the ring like closer to show you things but my hair's definitely grown since I first got it cut but I am still finding the shorter hair quite difficult in terms of curling and then I caught myself quite a quite a big one yesterday so yeah because I've still got a mark on my thumb here from when I burnt it before and uh, now I've got this and I feel like it's going to raise up into a big huge blister so uh, maybe that'll be good for for that who knows right so that was number six so number seven want to know the secret to softer shinier hair hmm well let's find out shall we 
actually, speaking of hair, on Friday night, I washed my hair and I used the Jonathan Van Ness moisture mask afterwards. That smells beautiful. It smells like, I want to say it's Shalimar. It's, it's definitely a perfumey smell. Absolutely glorious. My hair also felt really nice and like shiny and conditioned after. So, you know, I think it did its job. But the smell was like... <laughs> it was so good. But in this box, we do not have Jonathan Van Ness. We have Olplex number three, which I will definitely use up. I've had this before. I've used it up. I've liked it. I got the Olaplex set when I did the order that had the... The... What, what's that word? Calendar. So yeah, I will definitely go through this next year. Number eight is just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Intriguing. What can I not see? Oh, dry shampoo maybe? Like invisible dry shampoo or something? Oh, Hourglass. Tend to, I do tend to like Hourglass products. Um, translucent setting powder. I have quite a lot of setting powders. But I have been quite keen to try this one for a while. So I'm going to keep that one. Number nine is full hashtag drunken love this Christmas. So I'm going to presume that's a drunk elephant scenario. Yes. This is the Proteine Peptide Cream. I've had this before and I definitely wouldn't rush out to buy the full size of this. But I do like this moisturiser so I will keep that. Box number 10 is... Tis the season for hydration, fa la 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 Oh, I get, there's two products in this one again. This is quite, mm, quite into that. I, do you know, see as much as I've said this is like, I kind of regret it. This is the thing, I think sometimes like, I kind of thought I liked it in sort of fantasy mode of liking the idea of it. And then I was kind of regretting it when I was like really honing in on the the number side of what adding all these products in would mean but you know what I can't actually pretend that as I'm opening this that I'm not enjoying it and you know I'm still excited by the products does that does that make sense like I feel like now that I I feel like I like the idea of it then got quite distressed about the idea of it and then kind of avoided opening them because I was a bit oh about the idea of it but actually now that I'm opening them I'm quite enjoying it I don't know it's a roller coaster examining your your relationship with stuff. In terms of the two products that were in there, I got the. Is this meant to have been in there? I'm I'm wondering if some of these are definitely meant to be in with the second calendar or not. Okay, so I've got one Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum, which fits with what was on the box, and then also the Biosense Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil, which is a facial oil to visibly brighten and firm. I feel like this definitely fits what was on the box and this maybe doesn't quite so much but anyway I will probably use both of those two. I will definitely use a hyaluronic serum. Facial oil I probably wouldn't have bought it to bring it in but I think I probably will finish it up so I will keep that just now. And the last box that I'm opening in this unboxing is 11 What the SPF? We're nearly halfway there. We are nearly halfway there guys. In this box Oh, right, so this is the Ultraviolet, the Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial sun Skin Screen. Very high protection, UVA and V. SPF 50, 50 mil. Definitely will go through this, so I will keep that one. Do you know, I'm not going to lie, I definitely kind of thought when we started opening this that I was going to keep like one or two things and donate most of them. See, in a way, I feel like if it's actually all stuff that I do want to keep, it's less of a regret because obviously I don't want to be getting things and then instantly being like, you know what, I'm just going to pass this straight along rather than keeping it. Like, that's not ideal. But I also kind of know I do want to keep most of this stuff because right now passing it on is really easy because I'm going to the social bite tree next weekend anyway. I've been ordering stuff to like make up other gifts with, so making up an extra gift with this stuff is I'd be doing it anyway kind of thing. So it's this is in a way, it's, it's like the easiest time to pass things on, basically. But we're only actually passing on two things, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top Lipstick and the Caudalie uh, Detox Mask. Would you like to open this one with me? Will we open this one and then I'll sign off? I opened day six. Day seven is one of the reindeers. You can always tell when you're guessing at reindeer because it's got the, the shape, the... Can you see? The shape, the door to be like a reindeer door. Day eight and nine are small doors. So 
I've got a red truffle in D8. Got a white truffle in D9. D10's a. Can you see? D turns a bigger door, so I think this will be a little bear behind this one. Oh! He's making a bit of freedom. There he is in his little green jumper. And then day 11 is just above there. Another white truffle for day 11. I had this calendar last year as well and I do really like it, I have to say. I feel like like chocolate's quite sweet, so having like one or two, even if I save up a couple of days, it's the sort of thing that's quite nice to just get a little taste of every, every other day or whatever, like rather than, like I couldn't sit and eat a full bag of lint truffles. So I, I do very much enjoy it as an advent calendar and then you get the actual bear on Christmas Eve which is very welcome. Anyway so that has been quite a long sort of rambly vlog or at least that's what it's felt like to me filming it. God knows what it's like to edit and to watch um, but yeah I feel like this will just be one that my very sort of core loyal audience watch through to the end of so if you're here then thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. I am uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday in terms of couldn't do a full vlog miss but tried to do a bit of extra content on the countdown to Christmas so thank you for watching today's and I will see you in the next video which depending on what day this one goes up on will be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday or Sunday. See you then, bye!